<laughs> I thought this was the off season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you all for coming. Um, and I will go ahead and turn this over to our chairman and principal owner, Mark Adanasio, to announce the news today. Uh, welcome, everyone. And uh, this is a very proud and happy moment for me. Uh, you know, our ownership group came together in, in 2004 in front of the 2005 season. And since that time, we have not had a new original investor or new in individual investor owner join the group. It's been the same group of a dozen or so families. And it's my true honor and privilege today to announce that Giannis and his family will be owners of the Milwaukee Brewers Baseball Club. <laughs> You know, we've really been fortunate uh, in, in many ways here. We've been fortunate to get enormous support from the community. Uh, I don't like to talk about the fact that we're a, a small market, technically, demographically, the smallest market in baseball. But with the huge support we get from our fans and our sponsors, we punch way above our weight and uh, have shown we can compete every year, including this year. What I don't get to talk about as much is that we've had huge support uh, from our ownership group. One of the reasons we haven't added an owner in 17 years is the group has always uh, worked extremely well and cohesively together. It's uh, starting with the, the local owners would be most notable uh, in the community here. Uh, Canning family, Turr family, uh, Lubar family, Eline family, uh, Marcus family. Rick, I think I caught everyone. And uh, yeah, Rick, Rick uh, by the way, Schlesinger family. <laughs> That's right. And, uh, and, and so I haven't wanted to disrupt that uh, chemistry we have among, among our group. So the group has always pulled together in, in good times and bad and uh, really with 100% su support and unanimity. So I wanna you know, thank our owners for 17 years of support. A little over a year ago, uh, Giannis reached out because of his interest, and I'll let, he can speak for himself, I think it was motivated by his interest in the community about joining our investor group. And this came together you know, quite organically uh, over that period of time, we actually, I think, came to a final agreement and signed everything up, including MLB approvals in early May, in front of the playoffs. Uh, and then, you know, all, all of us privately got to enjoy, which we were publicly enjoying, Giannis's and the team's success as world champions in the NBA playoffs. Uh, Privately, we all knew he would be joining our group. We not only have a you know wonderful human being, leader, family person, family and uh, community leader as part of our group, we'd also have a world champion. And that's some of the karma we're trying to have rub off on the Milwaukee Brewers at the championship game. We had a suite. We had something like 20 out of our 25 players there soaking in the atmosphere and uh, trying to get, have some of that good karma that Giannis and his teammates uh, created to rub off on us. So with that, Giannis, thank you for joining us as, a, as, a, as an owner. And uh, I guess I turn it over to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, first of all, thank you for the, uh, you know, the kind words, uh, Mark. Uh, I just wanna, I was looking at this, uh, Sign right here. You know, this, this guy looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh, you guys could see it? It looks amazing. <laughs> so, um, man, this is unbelievable. Um, this is a, a dream come true, you know, for a kid from Sepoli, Athens, Greece, um, born from immigrant parents. Um, you know, I could never imagine I'm going to be in this position. And, you know, I want to thank God that I've, has allowed me to 
and bless me uh, with his gift and allow me to be this position because without him I wouldn't you know be here and uh, without me doing something with the gift that God gave me I wouldn't be in this position so you know always I want to thank God but at the same time I want to thank Mark you know for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to join the ownership group um, to learn from you um, this is an amazing organization and I'm very very happy to be a part of it. Um, as, as, as Mark said, it's been 17 years till, uh, since a private uh, investor joined the group, and he told me outside, he said, don't be that trouble investor because every, <laughs> every, every ownership group has one, and I'm going to try not to be that one. Um, you know, I'm here to learn. I'm here to observe. Um, it was, you know, growing up in Greece, always wanted to be a basketball player, always. And uh, I work extremely hard to accomplish that. But there's sometimes when you're on the road that you kind of think about uh, what's next. And I know I'm young, you know, and I obviously I'm gonna focus 100% in basketball and getting better and helping my team win the championship. But I wanted to be, you know, the owner uh, in a professional team. And um, as Mark said, I reached out, my team reached out to him a year ago. I think I was in the bubble when I was, laying down in quarantine, I was like, I want to be involved. You know, I want to be involved in the community, and I don't think there's a better you know, uh, way to start from the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, I'm happy. Uh, again, I want to thank you, Mark. Uh, I want to thank the city for embracing me and my family. And, uh, you know, we just won the championship. The Packers won the championship a couple years ago. We, we just tried to win the championship right here. You know, uh, and uh, it's going to take time. We're going to have patience. We've got to be in the present. But uh, we have a great ownership uh, group. We have great players. And uh, we, we're, going, we're going to accomplish with a lot of hard work. Thank you, guys. Giannis and Mark, thank you. It's not official, though, without our president of baseball operations coming up and making a presentation if, if we can. <laughs> oh, man. What time is the game tonight? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have you out there. Uh, I'm excited. Thank you guys so much. For Thank you. We thought David might look at Giannis as a first base alternative. <laughs> Not sure the uh, coach Bud and the Bucks would go for that. Okay, um, we will not have time for one-on-ones afterwards, but we do have a little bit of time for questions. So we have two microphones out here. I would just ask, please raise your hand before you ask a question. We want to make sure people that are watching live are able to hear the questions. Uh, we have the two mics on the side, so. Hey, Jonas, Greg Matzik from WTMJ. Congratulations, man. That's a bigger jersey, I think, than they sell in the, the team store. Um, <laughs> Mark mentioned in 2004, he and his ownership group stepped forward. Just think about Giannis in 2004. What are the thoughts, what are the things going through your mind as a kid that many years ago? 2004, I was um, 10 years old. Um, probably silly, silly thoughts. Um, <laughs> you're young. Um, but, but it's crazy, you know, it's, 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 it's a long time. Um, since he's been the owner, and in 2004, I was not gonna lie, you know, tried to do whatever it took to uh, help my, you know, provide my family with food, you know, help my mom and my parents out as much as possible. Uh, and that's where it comes to that I never thought I'm gonna be in this position, you know, and you can never take this for granted, you know, and that's why I always thank God, I always thank my, my parents for uh, raising me the right way, uh, uh, allowing me to be disciplined, to be humble, to, you know, be appreciate life, be grateful of life. And um, so to answer your question, I definitely wasn't thinking about ownership. You know, when I was 10 years old, um, I was just thinking about how can I help my parents in any way possible and my brothers. 
Yannis Lance Allen from TMG4. What do you know about baseball? And what do you like about baseball? What attracted you to this? I don't know much about baseball. I've been to uh, two, um, two uh, Milwaukee Brewers games in the past. Um, I enjoyed it. You know, I enjoy I enjoy competition. Um, obviously, in growing up in Europe, there's not a lot of baseball over there. Uh, actually, when I was introduced to baseball. I was I was 18. It was the first day I came to Milwaukee. I came to a game. But uh, you know, I know Christian Yelich. I know he's a great player, and uh, you know, he has a little bit pressure on him now. You know. Um, you know, to bring bring a, a, a championship to uh, this organization, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be texting him every day from now on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, Mark told me he said, you know, it's it's hard because you can tell like people that join this uh, sport they're really competitive and they want to win, and it's kind of hard not to you know stick your nose into uh, the player's business. But you know, I might be owner, but I'm a player at the same time, so. I've, you know, I'm going definitely, you know, be reaching out and telling him, you know, talking about the game and, you know, motivating any way possible to uh, win games. Giannis, uh, Tony Atkins, TMJ4. Uh, just tell me about that conversation a year ago when this idea was presented to you and what did you really want to learn in this new role? Um, actually, I was just, you know, for, for my age, uh, I think I'm pretty pretty sharp, you know. I think uh, Liva helped me um, put me in a position to that I can think about things, think about the future, um, and where I want to be in the future and what I want to do. I, w I was just thinking about that, you know. I want to, you know, become uh, an owner of a professional team, and um, there was a lot of uh, ideas on the table. There was an idea to um, own a soccer team in Europe, um, and I said no. I want if I want to be be a part of the Milwaukee Brewers, if that's possible. And um, at first, they, they told me that you know they haven't allowed anybody for 17 years to uh, be in that ownership group. And uh, I was like, it doesn't really matter. Can we still reach out to them and um, see what they think? If uh, they'd be interested in me joining and um, you know me learning from them, because at the end of the day, this is, I'm 26 years old. You know, I'm 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 I'm, I'm learning. Uh, and um, learning for Mark is going to be big for me uh, because, as I said, uh, this is what I want to do next. Um, so I think uh, we we both both uh, both sides we talked about it. Uh, we finalized it in May, uh, and we decided to not um, put it out there because we didn't want it to take you know attention out of the Milwaukee Brewers and attention out of the the playoffs and, uh, you know, made it all about me. And uh, we said we're going to find the right time to announce the, announce, uh, the partnership. And, uh, you know, I don't want the, you guys to think that this is happening because we won the championship. Like, we already finalized this way, 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 way before. And uh, as I said, Milwaukee have made me who I am today. You know, have made me a better person. Um, it's basically my home. Um, uh, i become a father here. Um, I've become a leader here. I've become uh, a championship here, a champion here, and I want to be. I want to be involved. I want to be involved in the uh, the community as much as possible. Uh, I know Milwaukee invested a lot in me, and um, I want to invest a lot of me back to the city of Milwaukee. Uh, so, as I said, I'm excited, um, and this uh, is only going to be fun from now now on out. Hi, Giannis. Um, the team was so inspired when they went to game six and saw you guys win the championship, and they were talking about it for days after. So how can you share that championship experience with them? Um, you know, the impact that that had on them as they're trying to win their own championship. And what did that kind of support mean to you, to see the whole team show up for the Bucks like that? I, actually, I was so uh, so focused and uh, lanced into the game that, you know, I didn't know that the, the show uh, came to the game. To be honest with you, like uh, this, this I would go back a little bit, say a funny story because um, I was in the Brooklyn game, right? And uh, we played, uh, I think, game seven or game game five, and uh, there was Jay Z and Beyonce, and uh, courtside seat. And my my girlfriend, she's a really big fan of Beyonce. She told me that you saw Beyonce, and I said Beyonce. And she is. <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see her. She was like, she was at courtside. She was sitting right there. 
<laughs> and I said, no, I didn't see it. Like when I play, you know, play basketball and uh, I'm trying to win, I'm so locked in what I'm doing. So I didn't see Beyonce and I, I, didn't see, I definitely did not see um, the Milwaukee Brewers, but Mark told me that they were in the suite. They all came to support us um, and uh, root for us and um, wish us the best to win. And the, what I'll, I'll say about game six is that when you're in champion, uh, it's hard to you know, get done. It's hard to get there, but once you accomplish that, uh, it's the best feeling ever. It's the best feeling ever. You always remember what it took to get there. And, and uh, you could create this bond with your teammates for the rest of your life. And it's an addicting feeling, you know. And um, it's my first time winning the championship, but I want to do it again and again and again. And uh, um, you just got to get over the hump. Once you get over the hump and you get there, you're going to find yourself wanting to do it again and again. So uh, I'm excited for this. Uh, for the team that we have here uh, in Milwaukee. And uh, once we once we win the championship, once we keep getting better, um, the team is going to keep continuing to be better. Hi, Cassidy Williams with Fox 6. You mentioned you didn't want to be a trouble investor. What kind <laughs> of investor do you want to be? How do you plan to be involved in the team? Right now, I just want to learn. Um, this is my first time doing this. Uh, I want to learn as much as possible. Um, always in, you know, even when I joined basketball, when I started playing basketball, I wanted to learn. I wanted to be the best in what I do. And uh, I think, uh, you know, I've talked with Mark a little bit over the phone and uh, text message, and I met him today. Uh, and I think he's a, he's a great guy, you know. And um, I believe Mark is right here. I believe when I reach out and ask him for uh, questions, he, uh, he, he give, me, give me the answer. He helped me uh, to, you know, be a, be a better owner. But... So far, what I've uh, realized is that don't stick your nose in, right? Don't don't <laughs> don't do that. Just stay stay away. Uh, yeah, Rick Rick Schlesinger and David Stearns were happy when I I told Giannis that he asked what some of the uh, keys to uh, success as an owner were, and you know it's what you really as an owner this you can't go and, and hit or pitch or a lot of things you actually can't do. You can set a tone. You can hire great people, and then you can let them do their jobs. You know, and I felt in, in particular in our organization uh, with uh, Craig Council in the field and uh, David Stearns running baseball ops, Rick Schlesinger running business ops. I have three terrific choices that I managed to make and uh, just stay out of their way, even though Giannis said to me, well, don't you sometimes think <laughs> you might want to say something? <laughs> and uh, sometimes I do, but uh, I do better when I stay out of their, their way. Uh, we, we, look, our organization, um, I did pledge to Giannis that we would help. Uh, you know, he, he obviously has a very good window into NBA economics from the player side. I can give him, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, learning on how MLB economics work from an owner side. Give him a very good financial picture of sports ownership, uh, which, uh, you know, is one of his, his goals in in life that he's already achieved at the age of 26, along with being an NBA champion. Uh, and, and we'll be able to, you know, advance on, on that with the, the learning he gets. I think he's going to bring uh, a huge amount to our organization, starting with his leadership in the community. And uh, look, all of us here can't stop smiling that he's, he's with us today. And I, I think he knows how to win. We've got a lot of guys in the clubhouse who know how to win. Now we have a, an owner uh, for the first time who knows how to win on the field. Some, a lot of us know how to win in business. We have an owner in, in ownership who financially can uh, get through the MLB screen for ownership here and, and, from, and, and also from a uh, background check. But importantly, knows how to win on the field. He can, he can help us there. And I think he can help us just generally, all of us, with, with leadership and, and how we think about things. I'm, I'm really struck by how, you know, mature he is and, and a number of the comments he made during the NBA playoffs resonated for me just in life as a way to lead my life I'm 63 years old so uh, I think it'll be a, it, it'll be a good uh, symbiotic relationship a lot of you know give and take on both sides and, and I would mention by the way with that you know it's interesting when you bring an owner one of the reasons you don't bring a new owner in is then other owners ownership percentage goes down a little 
So everybody loves owning this team. Nobody wants a little less because somebody else is coming in. Unanimous support for Giannis joining the group. And so, uh, you know, it's uh, it'd be the start of something, I think, really significant and a, and a beautiful thing. One or two more. Giannis, uh, you obviously see this as a, a big commitment to Milwaukee. Uh, what is it about Milwaukee that made you want to continue to commit to Milwaukee? You know, I, uh, I said it uh, a little bit earlier ago. Um, I said it in the past. Um, Milwaukee have made me who I am today. Um, without Milwaukee giving me opportunity, um, I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, you've made me a better person, a better man. Um, you know, I've grown up to love the city. Um, I want to raise my family here in Milwaukee. Um, obviously, I've made a big uh, commitment in, uh, to return and join uh, the Bucks for the next five years. Uh, but um, there's, there's, more, there's more to life than, than basketball. And, and, and trust me, I'm, I'm a very, very competitive uh, person. I love basketball. Basketball is my, my core, but there's more to it. I feel like uh, I'm in a position that I can use my platform to uh, help people in need uh, and impact us. Many people, uh, starting from Milwaukee and the city which I love, and uh, going back to um, Athens, uh, Greece, um, the country which I was born in, uh, Nigeria also, the country that my parents are from and I'm from. But I, I just, I just love Milwaukee. You know, um, they find they find the diamond in the rough, you know, in the in the dust, and uh, they trusted me. They believed in me. The city have embraced me. Uh, the city loved me and my my family. Um, and it's own love. I just I just got just got to give it back now. And uh, actually, I don't want to get too much into it. But you know, after after the championship, uh, we had two days to sleep. I wasn't able to sleep. And then we had the the parade. And when I was in the bus, I was extremely quiet. It was me, my mother, my son, and uh, my significant other, Mariah. Um, and I saw 200,000 people at the same time uh, in Milwaukee. They were happy. You know, it didn't matter what color they were, black or white, everybody was happy at the same time. And, and, and I, I love that about this city. Uh, and, and that's where I realized that there's more, there's more. Like I, we keep, I, I love giving them joy, I love winning championship, and I hope I can do it again so I can see more people happy at the same time in this city. Uh, because sometimes the snow can make you a little bit grumpy, you know, so <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. But um, I realized, I talked with uh, Mariah, I said, okay, uh, I, I think I'm gonna take this a little bit more serious. and. You know, being young, 26, is, there's a lot of uh, pressure that I have. There's a lot of weight on my shoulder, uh, um, and I do, do not want to make it as big of a commitment that I cannot follow through because I'm a man of my word. But one thing that I know is that I want to help a lot of people in need uh, here in Milwaukee, in this community, impact as many people as I can. And um, I decided to also uh, uh, work on behind the scene in my Global Foundation, and and that's also going to be a, a place that you know I can step in and uh, also impact a lot of people here in Milwaukee. But the question is that Milwaukee helped me uh, and invested in me, and um, this opportunity to invest back to the city. Drew, last one uh, for for both of you guys. From a strictly business standpoint, how does this help the Brewers um, with maybe international marketing in Giannis? Is this a, a way to maybe? expose the game of baseball back in your native Greece too, where it's, it's a, a smaller but popular sport? You know, we, uh, one of the things I think from my perspective that was great about us coming together, and I talked about it being organic, is it, it wasn't about any agenda on either side. I think, uh, you know, Anna spoke from the heart and why he wanted to do this, and from our standpoint, I mean, who wouldn't want Giannis as part of their team, right? And and it was interesting because a couple of his business representatives reached reached out to me and said, well, you know, what, what does he have to do then? I said, you know, doesn't have to do anything. He's an owner. <laughs> he, 
and uh, and so that's there's sweet. really no. There's <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really nice. That's sweet. Uh, get access to the owner's suite. <laughs> a lot of you know privileges you get, and uh, so there's really no. We, we haven't had a, and Rick Schlesinger's in the back. We haven't had a single discussion. La last thing I'd want anyone to think of that there's anything opportunistic here with but this is a great way uh, to, to we're both trying to do you know what's right in the community it's a great way to combine our collective impact and and do good uh, even what Giannis is saying about from a charity standpoint the first thing I've ever thought about what we could do here is how he could maybe give us some ideas since he's so charitable and how we can do more with our community foundation and uh, yeah, that's that's from my yeah. perspective. Um, in growing the game, uh, as I said earlier, that a lot of people don't know a lot about baseball. In uh, Europe, you know, soccer is the number one uh, football. It's the number one uh, sport uh, in Europe. But hey, who knows? Maybe this is an opportunity. You know, um, I kind of know that. I have a great platform in uh, in Europe, and uh, a lot of people don't know about the Milwaukee Brewers. And um, hopefully, this way, you know, we can you know the Milwaukee Brewers can grow. You know, the the uh, popularity can grow over there in Europe too. Hey, thank you all for coming, Mark Giannis. Thank you as well. Thanks, thank Tyler. you guys. Thanks, everyone.